On 14th of April, the New York Times reported that William Burns of the CIA had announced that the threat of using tactical nuclear weapons was within the weapons capacity of Russia, stating, the director of the CIA said on Thursday that potential desperation to extract the semblance of a victory in Ukraine could tempt President Vladimir V. Putin of Russia to order the use of a tactical or low-yield nuclear weapon. On 22nd of April, it was reported that Russia was continuing to test its RS-28 Sarmat, nicknamed Satan II, long-range intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, to upgrade its nuclear arsenal in autumn of 2022 with Putin stating that other nations should be more wary of Russia's nuclear arsenal. On 24th of April, in apparent response to Biden sending Antony Blinken to Kiev for military support meetings with Zelensky on 23rd of April, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov stated that further support of Ukraine could cause tensions which could potentially lead to a World War III scenario involving Russia's full arsenal of weapons. The next day after Lavrov's comments, CNBC reported that Secretary Lloyd Austin referred to Russia's nuclear war rhetoric as being dangerous and unhelpful. In response to Russia's apparent disregard of safety precautions during the invasion of Ukraine's nuclear power plant at Zaporizhia and its disabled former nuclear power plant at Chernobyl, on 26 April Zelensky voiced concern that Russian irresponsibility in firing their missiles in the vicinity of Ukraine's active nuclear power plant should lead to international discussion directed toward limiting and controlling Russia as a nation no longer being qualified for the responsible management of its nuclear resources and nuclear weapons stating, I believe that after all that the Russian military has done in the Chernobyl zone and at the Zaporizhia power plant, no one in the world can feel safe knowing how many nuclear facilities, nuclear weapons and related technologies the Russian state has. If Russia has forgotten what Chernobyl is, it means that global control over Russia's nuclear facilities and nuclear technology is needed. In apparent response to Germany deploying armed tanks to Ukraine, Putin announced in Russia's main legislative assembly that Russia would respond to any combative military provocation from outside of Ukraine with prompt peremptory action possible only with Russia's unique arsenal of nuclear weapons. Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby, after announcing the successful delivery of a large deployment of M777 howitzer cannons to Ukraine, called Putin's assertion of nuclear potency contrary to the process of the peaceful resolution of the current conflict in Ukraine. On 4th of May, the U.S. Senate held the hearing on nuclear readiness amid Russia-Ukraine war where Admiral Charles A. Richard stated that current nuclear triad defense capabilities in the U.S. were operating at a minimal acceptable level of operational capacity, with Russian stockpile.